I'm standing here on the island of Samos, one of the Greek islands just off the coast of Turkey. We were invited by a church in Thessaloniki, as well as two ministries, one in Spain and one in California, to join them on a trip to be exposed to the refugee crisis firsthand. These organizations are creating awareness among churches and Christ followers in the United States and other countries about what's really going on with the refugee crisis and also doing a bike ride to support the Greek nationals whose tourism industry has dropped off dramatically as they have taken in refugees. We were invited to train in our IDENT, our IC, and our iFilm curriculums. We train both Greek nationals as well as refugees who have come to Christ. One of the men on our trip is a former refugee by the name of Ahmed. Ahmed has a powerful story about how God brought him from a professional job in Iran where he fled to Greece and through that experience and through the people that he met, he came to know the Lord. Because of some political problems, I had to escape from my country to uh, the Turkey. And uh, when I arrived at the Turkey, I feel that I'm not safe here in that country. Again, I tried to leave this country to another country. And uh, it was so difficult. I had so uh, bad uh, situation in during the, my traveling. And uh, finally, from the south of the Turkey, by a small boat with many refugees, I arrived to one of the islands of the Greece. And after I uh, got the ticket from the island, I came to the Athens. When I was at Athens, the police, they arrested me and they took me uh, to the one village near the border of the uh, Macedonia and they uh, kept me in the underground of the one police station. It was so small and it was so dirty. Uh, maybe mm, 50 people all together uh, we were there and it was so uh, bad situation for me. Uh, after six months, uh, one man, he came and asked the police who knows English and the police asked us the refugees who knows English and because uh, I little knew about the English, I said that I knew and the, that man asked the police if there is a possibility for that refugee, I want to speak with him for 10-20 minutes. And that man uh, asked me about my uh, background, about my uh, nationality or something like that. And he asked me about the situation, the uh, prison. I, I explained for him something and after that uh, he knew that uh, I don't have any entertainment, uh, any hobby for at the camp and he said to me, if you want, I can give you uh, the one book as a gift and you can read it. That book was the Bible. Before in Iran, uh, I hadn't seen the Bible, just I heard about that and I didn't read about it. And uh, because I didn't have anything to do in the camp, I start from the first pages of the Bible and when I start to read from the Genesis, from the first page, and I slowly, slowly found many things on, through the book. And after I came out from the prison, it was a big miracle in my life. When I came out in the Athens, uh, one man from the Iranian church he gave me the key of the church and he said to me, if you want, you can uh, stay here and we can work with us. And again, in during the, when I was at the church, again, uh, I read it more and over and more. After I worked for two or three weeks at the church and uh, I started to ask many questions about the gospel, about the Bible, 
from the pastor or the other believer and slowly slowly I I said that uh, I'm so eager to know more about the Bible and uh, I remember that after one month they uh, baptized me there and uh, before the baptize I didn't know about the uh, born again but after they baptized me uh, I knew about the born again and after the born again really my life uh, became changed. The other day on Lesbos we went to the place where they dumped all the life jackets but as we got closer as we went right down to the pile each and every life jacket was unique. We saw them not as a pile, but as many individuals. As we evaluate and as we hear things about the refugee crisis, we need to remember it's not just a group. Each one of these is an individual that Christ died for, that God loves, and that we need to love.